Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in beautiful uh, Napa, California. We are actually at a vineyard where we are about to play some music. And um, we had a wonderful experience this week playing Brandenburg 6. I mean, what, what do you do when you get two violas together? You play Brandenburg 6, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, but uh, please tell us about this wonderful viola that you have and um, how you came to have it and why you chose it. Sure, yeah. So the, this viola is, I um, hope that you can see it well. Um, it's an old Italian. It has, doesn't have a name. Uh, but you haven't named the instrument or it doesn't have a maker? It doesn't have a maker. I see. Yeah. Does it have a name? It doesn't have a name. Uh, maybe <laughs> we can maybe give, try to name it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should name it uh, Masumi. <laughs> but I do think it's uh, I do think it's a guy. You think it's a guy? Yeah, I think my viola so, is a guy. Yeah. So it's from 1750, around there. Mm -hmm. um, it says inside, you know, Tassini from Venice. But it it that's sort of a fake label. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the, there's a, a writing underneath that says repaired in Edinburgh in 18 something so the label in Scotland on. yeah so you know that the instrument went to Scotland yeah the instrument went to Scotland um, but huh. it's definitely uh, an Italian one so yeah. um, it's just that Tassini is one of those makers that died really young I think he was like 18 or 19 so he made a few instruments that were very nice uh, but we don't really know his style yeah so one one thing that's really interesting is how I don't know if you can see how there's these little fillings of holes. Oh yeah, little little holes under the yeah. tailpiece. Yeah, so there used to be sympathetic strings on this instrument. and so Like drone strings, like a viola de morte. Yeah. Wow. So um, I've never seen that before. No, like uh, this is very unusual. And so it might have been cut down from this instrument called lira di braccia, which is, you know, also for arm, but it's a lira for mm -hmm. the arm. Um, wow. So that's kind of where... I, I came across it in Switzerland, so I, I, I bought it there. Um, from a shop? From a, from a dealer there. Yeah. yeah. In, in, uh, so, where is it? La Chautefonds, La Chautefonds, which is... Uh, You'll have to spell that for me. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, yeah. it's next to this church where, like a lot of people made really nice recordings next to that church. There's, there was a shop there. Right. And that's where... That's where I found it. When did you find it? Um, about a year after I switched to viola, so it was uh, 2002. Because you started on violin yeah. and then switched to viola yeah. in 2002. Yeah. Wonderful. How big is this instrument? Um, it's 41 centimeters. Come on, metric? <laughs> I have no idea. I still don't understand the inch system, but yeah. it, it, it's probably around 16 a quarter. Yeah, uh, it, it seems, yeah. which is kind of that perfect contralto size. Yeah. It's a it's a good size for sound. It's very thick. The, the ribs the are ribs. The, the ribs tall are ribs, really yeah. thick. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice. The back is really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Is this maple? Uh, yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so, what are the things about? Well, this is your only viola ever. Right? Um, because you yeah. right about when you switched, basically. Um, no, I. I mean, I, I used to borrow violas for a while. My The first real great viola that I borrowed is kind of special. It Before was, you switched to viola? Yeah, when I was doing both yeah. violin and viola. I was at school, at Menuhin School. We were all sort of forced to play viola, but I took it more seriously. So therefore, I had the privilege to play on this viola that was a testori that uh, Menuhin himself played on uh, before he gave it to the school. That was a really special instrument very short it was, uh, it's a violin one viola. Inch. yeah it was on one inch less than this inch thank you yeah so if this is <laughs> we're not doing metric <laughs> yeah i'm trying i'm really trying so i think yeah it's well it was 38 centimeters 38 centimeters yeah. okay yeah so but that that instrument you played for a little while but this is really integrated with your voice i mean for that's almost 20 years that you've been playing. Yeah, then I feel like I've had like three, three of three instruments, even though it's the same, technically the same instrument, you know, it was set up very differently and there's sort of three eras. The, the, the but five, six years when I was in Europe, it was just the setup that I got it from the store. Mm -hmm. 
Then I went to Boston. The setup, you mean like where the bridge placement the bridge, is? The, like literally a different bridge, different uh, sound post. So you lived with it as it was? Yeah. And then, and then when years. I went to Boston, I, I went to Ken Meyer and then he did his things. He and breathed then, on it. He breathed, he and went, and then and it, it just... was different. <laughs> um, and I worked for a while, and then and then I moved to, of course, San Francisco, where yeah. uh, there's, a, there's a guy who moved there also recently, Adam Pelter from Florian Leonard. And he, he looked at it, and, and uh, he did a new bridge, a new, again, a new sound, uh, post? sound post. Yeah, it looks, the sound post looks new. Yeah, and so um, it's really like a new personality. It's very interesting. Yeah, that's, that's great that it, it's evolving. Yeah, it you know, definitely is. Yeah. It's a living instrument. Oh, yeah. Very much. So how has um, living in San Francisco with the earthquakes changed your vibrato? <laughs> um, I think it's getting slower, finally. You know, I used to have that issue of too, too fast, my vibrato. Uh, violin vibrato to viola, is yeah, that what you it mean? Yeah, it just takes a while to, to slow it down. But I think I'm finally starting to slow it down. Maybe it's the, the West Coast, you know, is a little more yeah, just relaxed. Like, just chill out. Yeah. But it likes the weather here. Quite a lot, huh? It's uh, yeah. it's very stable. Wonderful. Yeah. Do you mind playing a few notes? No, of course. I would love to. I'm very uncomfortable with this. <laughs> 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 